What's up everybody? Chris Smith here and today I'm working on a few things. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a closet purge or maybe two closet purges and how about some gear purges too because you know if you're like me you kind of gear just accumulates whether you buy too much or sometimes people send me some stuff and maybe I don't use it all so I need to do something with that gear and uh, you know some of it may get passed on to some of you guys. I might be giving away some stuff, and I'm also going to be putting some deep discounts on top of some already discounted stuff, and kind of introducing some new sweet stuff. All right, so all that in this video and more. Some analysis at the end too, so stick around. This is all kind of inspired by people sending me stuff. Here I have this, no, someone didn't send me this. I actually got this little wooden oak bucket out of a dumpster behind a Coles. So this is very special to me. <laughs> Don't tell me you've never dove in a dumpster before. Come on. I'm always looking. Not always, but, you know, if I buy one, I'm looking. <laughs> people do send me stuff from time to time, and I'm so grateful for it. Thank you so much, special people. You know who you are, each and every one of you. And, you know, sometimes I use this stuff, sometimes I may not use this stuff, but I'm always grateful for it. No need for something to sit around and not get out there. That goes for myself and you and gear as well. It all needs to get out there. Don't sit around if you want to be around. <laughs> I need to buy some new clothes personally to get out there in, okay? And I believe less is more in most instances in life, especially clothes. So let's go in my little closet here and see what I need to get rid of. Like a lot of folks, I've accumulated a lot of clothes and a lot of t-shirts over the years especially. And some of them you just don't wear anymore. And so every now and then you gotta get rid of some. I like to get rid of one or two every once in a while. And I've been doing that here regularly lately. But now there's still some more that I've just been uh, not wanting to part with. But we're gonna do it now. Like here's one. It's in the, the first one. It's a old Kavu long sleeve white shirt. I've had this for God only knows how long. Don't even know where I got it. Don't even know if I've ever worn it. And it's white, so I don't wear it much because I'll just get it dirty and it'll be ruined. So I, I don't wear it. So I need to get rid of it. There's one. Uh, I got some long sleeves here that I wear maybe once a year or something. Some shirts with sailboats on them. I don't really want to get rid of those. I really like the sailboat shirts. Really, I do. Just kind of reminds me of my past. Say hey. What's up? Is this video? Yep. All right. Tell the day and all that stuff. What's today? The 20th? Yes. January 20th. And we're out sailing. We got Shell Island over here. The city's over there. Pinnacle City Beach, Florida. We're running up and down the pass, checking out dolphins. Alright, this shirt, be honest with you, it's getting a few pit stains under it. So, okay, done with it. Although it's really nice, my mom got it for me. It's like a made of bamboo apparel. Pam, something. They got a Margaritaville shirt. <sighs> Gotta hold on to that. A couple of work shirts, need to keep those. Okay, here we go. Got a little problem here. I got two of these. Come on, one's got a pocket, one doesn't. One's thinner. I'm keeping the one with the pocket. This one's gotta go. Alright, you just gotta do it. Gotta make the commitment. All right, long sleeve, Columbia. I mean, I love these shirts, but I've got kind of my own shirts. Out there shirts coming that are long sleeve that I wear. If you don't wear it, you gotta get rid of it. Okay, see, like right here. Sailing and such, sailing and such, sailing and such, long sleeves, long sleeves. I got, is that five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them, that's outrageous. Just gotta have one in every color trip. I need to get rid of some of those, but that's, that's hard to do. Oh, here's one. Mountain Donkey Apparel. Somebody gave me that at uh, Hank On. I gotta keep that. Thanks, bud. All right, sailing and such, sailing and such. Oh, out there shirt, gotta keep that. All right, then we get into these fishing kayak shirts. I love red, I just don't wear it much. So this one, not really sure what to do with this. Might be going to you guys. So I'll put it in a separate pile. Another fishing one, fishing gag shirt. You gotta do it. How many, we're getting rid of a lot here. All right, this is a, Black tank, I wear that hiking and stuff. Here's a red one, I don't wear this one. Cool tan, gotta have that. Workout shirts, workout shirts. Yeah, I, I wear all those. 
pretty often. Oh, this is something funky. I'll show this in a minute. Okay, white workout shirt. Uh -uh. Pretty cool though, right? <laughs> I remember when I first got the shirt, I was like, that is the ugliest shirt I've ever seen. Then the guy who was wearing it, he was like, who wants this shirt? I was like, me. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Oh, keep that one. Yes, love those shirts. Love all these shirts. You know what, you guys can't even see what I am what I love. Yeah, see I love all these button up, like Columbia and Mountain Hardware. Well, Mountain Hardware mainly, and a few Columbias. Except for these right here. I don't know, I'm weird. I don't like these shirts. This is a Habitat uh, Sam's Club knockoff of a Columbia, and I've never wore either one of these. So these are probably gonna go to like eBay or something. Look at there, we just did so good up there up top. Now we have so much more room for activities. Now we're in the bottom. So I got a bunch of pants down here. These are my favorite pants ever. I'm gonna be getting another pair of these. Church pants, uh, decent pants. Yeah, these are all like stretch, quick drive pants, dress pants. I need to get rid of some of those, but I gotta talk to the wife while I get rid of those. Another pair of awesome Columbia stretchy pants. Uh, okay, these are, these are too big for me. I don't know where I got them. They're really nice. They are Columbia dress pants, too big. eBay for that stuff. These are some Sam's knockoff. They're like, what are they called? Zero exposure. They're like they're like stretch, quick dry material, but they're so loud. I'll keep them though. All right, here's oh, a pair of Mountain Hardware stretch pants. Super awesome pants. All right, here's a pair I need to get rid of. I got these. I think I actually I got these from the Goodwill. No, I got them from like one of those secondhand stores. You know, like a nice Goodwill. <laughs> these are Columbia. They don't stretch though. They're just they're real tight and they're real tight waisted. They're a little small for me in the waist and it kind of just makes me uncomfortable. So I love them, but I need to get rid of them and just put a pair of pants in here that I will wear a lot and I'll love to wear. Got this Auburn jersey. Oh, never worn it, it's got the tag on it. It's humongous. It just fits like a jersey and I'm not much of a wall fan, so eBay for that. See, there's my two collared polo shirts and then a bunch of other collared shirts that I'd have to talk to the wife with before I get rid of those. So we're gonna. She won't let me get rid of those. Okay, look, a white polo t-shirt with the uh, sticker and tag on it. I don't like white, I told you. Okay, blue polo, pink polo tee, two blue polo tees, red polo tees. All these are polo t-shirts that I haven't worn in ages. I'm gonna talk to the wife about those two. But hey, we just, we just made some progress. We got rid of a few things. Out with the old, in with the new, soon. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We just got rid of fourteen articles of clothing. That's a lot. But this one, that's just not really me. I'll show you why. I mean, it fits good. It feels pretty awesome. It's supposed to like, like repel water really good and dry really fast. But well, it's got this hood. I just don't know about the hood. Ah, something's wrong with the hood for me. I gotta figure out what to do with this. This may be going to. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna get in the giving mood here in a little bit, you'll see. These two shirts, two Sam and Such fishing shirts, size medium. These are gonna go for sale for like real cheap, somehow, some way. Maybe like five bucks. What do you think about that, shipped? All this, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with. Some's eBay, some's Goodwill. No, none of it's a rag. Yeah, this one might be a rag. So some of it's gonna be like just a rag, like if I need something to clean the truck or something. Grab a rag. Oh, this feels good. Yeah, it looks nice. Then we come to this closet, which is kind of has a lot of stuff in it, but it also has the merch in there. Let's check it out. A little problem I've run into in the past with merch, or actually a big problem, is I just have a back stock of merch. All this is shirts that I'm phasing out and not selling anymore. And these are all leftovers, and I've already sold a bunch of them since they've been on sale. I got these marked down to $20 for the t-shirts shipped and like 23 bucks for the dry fit shirts shipped. Come on folks, you can't beat that. I don't think I've announced it yet, but people have been buying these, so thank you so much for buying these, trying to get rid of my stock. So I've just counted up a minute ago, I've got like 34 of these jokers. That's a bunch, okay? A bunch of these to go. These are the only colors and sizes that are left, so whatever, we gotta work with what we got. But it's okay. I got a bunch of the kayak fishing shirts. I got a lot of different sizes. These are sweet shirts for 20 bucks. You can't beat, you can buy them and use them as rags. They're so good. I mean, imagine cleaning your kayak with a selling and such t-shirt. Oh man, talk about a shine. 
Anyways, the long sleeves were the first to kind of almost sell out. I only have smalls left now, but I've got the light blue, black, charcoal, and three silvers in small. If you're a small, you need to buy them all. <laughs> Then I've got just a bunch of other shirts. Then also something I have that's kind of an issue is I have, I'm going to call these like seconds. I think this is a shirt that maybe I've worn like once or something. There's a couple of these. Or maybe a friend wore them. There may be like a little bitty stain or something on them or something about it. No, see they're not all my size so I don't know. Medium and two smalls. I'm going to sell these for like five bucks, okay? Five bucks. Shipped those aren't gonna last. Oh yeah, I got another one somewhere. This one. I think it's an XL. Five bucks shipped. Oh my gosh. It just, the tag, something happened to the tag. I don't know what. But if it's an XL, if it's a large, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's an XL because I've held up different shirts. Five bucks. Hit me up on Facebook. Messenger. Sailing and such on Facebook. Hit me. Five bucks. Come on. I need to sell these out to make room for the new shirts. But we're gonna be doing the new shirts a little bit differently. I'm gonna try and do pre-orders for the new shirt. So basically, how that's gonna work, it's gonna be set up over on sellingandsuch.com at the same gear store it's always been. And it's gonna be this shirt right here, okay? Available in charcoal, military green, or I think it's called prairie dust. I think I like, maybe like the prairie dust the most, or the charcoal is pretty sweet too. These are gonna be ready for pre-order now. $26 shipped for a regular size and $27 for like 2XL and up. And it goes up to 3XL. And if you want something bigger than that, shoot me a message because I've already hooked up a patron with a little bit bigger shirt than that because it was a special case. And I love the patrons. Thank you, patrons. But anyways, go check those out. These shirts are ready to be bought. You should also pick up one of the other shirts too, one of the on sale shirts. While you're at it, why not save the hassle, empty my closet out so we can do more. And also something I'm wanting to do is change up the design maybe monthly or so. See, what I'm thinking is I wanna make a shirt that each and every one of you, you know, eventually will say, okay, I've got to have that get out there shirt. That's what I want to do. So we'll be changing up the design. Maybe asking you guys for some input on some future designs. I've already had some input from patrons and from some other people who say, hey, Trip, wouldn't this be a cool design? I'm like, oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. So we're going to be doing that, changing up the colors, changing up the designs. Maybe, I don't know, every four months, two months, whatever. I don't know. We'll check it out. It's going to be great because I want everyone to find their favorite shirt and get out there and wear it. Wow, they're out there. And these shirts are 100% polyester. Folks, these are awesome shirts. It's like a new weave, a new fabric. It feels like cotton, 100% polyester. They even make it in long sleeve, so we're gonna be going long sleeve in the future too. Okay, now, what was I talking about, about free stuff? Oh yeah, what can we give away for free? Oh yeah, this little bucket. Now this is exclusively for patrons. Thank you patrons for being there. Yes, I'm talking up Patreon again. I'm just trying to build it slowly. I'm trying to increase the fun factor over there. And this is part of it. See, this is gear that you guys have sent me, some companies have sent me. Maybe I've bought uh, multiples of something and didn't need it or didn't need that many, but just got it because it was a good deal. And so now I'm passing it on to you. Nothing should go to waste. But you know, for a dollar a month, $12 a year, as little as that, you can be part of the fun and join in on the fun factor over at Patreon. So what are all we giving away? Someone awesome, Bill from South Carolina, he sent me a 12-pack case, a box of these APAC MRE Ready Meals. Okay, 12's a lot, and I'm super grateful. Thank you, Bill. Oh, basically how this is working over on Patreon is I just have this bucket of random stuff that I'm giving away for free, and all they have to do is comment and say, I want this, or this, and this, and then at the end of the month, or whenever, actually, here's just a few minutes, I think we're gonna go ahead and claim a winner, because I was supposed to do it yesterday. I just pick somebody randomly, or a random number generator picks someone randomly, and they win, and I ship it to them for free. Anyways, here it is, the APAC MRE meal. This is a little dry bag thing that I can, you can carry a pistol in, like a concealed carry thing. It's like a little heavy duty Ziploc bag, basically. Pretty cool, great for a little pistol. Got a tourniquet here. I bought several of these. Didn't need them. Haven't needed one yet. Knock on, knock on wood. <laughs> you guys use a tourniquet too. Oh, then someone graciously, like a year or two ago, he's probably watching this video, but I forgot who it was. Sorry, dude. Um, send me this shirt. This is an Explore shirt. It's an XL. 
right? Yes, it's an XL. Very, very nice shirt. Great feeling. What is that? Some little dust on it. Sorry. But uh, it looks like Kentucky on there. So explore Kentucky. So, no one wants that shirt, they can have it. Oh, then I've got these down booties that an awesome person sent me. And I'm sure they are watching this. And they sent me like, I don't know, three or four pairs of these down booties. You guys saw me wear these when I was at the HangCon. And they're pretty nice. So, down booties by Hunter Brand. Paddle leash from CampingKayaking.com. The best paddle leash on the internet. Oh. And that's stuff for next month. Because see, what I'm going to do, <laughs> what I'm going to do is each month, whenever one thing gets chosen, I'm going to add something else to the box or to the bucket or maybe a few things. So it's always going to be ever-changing. And I can kind of get a vibe of what type of things people like. I'm going to be trying to talk to brands and stuff, see if they can toss some things into the bucket to toss out to you guys that are on Patreon. Because Patreon is what's, you know, helping the channel get out there one paddle stroke at a time down the river to make more videos and adventures for you guys. I know that that's what you guys love. Well, those things don't come easy. <sighs> so, thank you all over on Patreon. All right, let's put all this back. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to select a winner. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I didn't. Let's do it real quick. Come here, computer. You guys see my laptop a little bit? I'll share the excitement with you guys. Let's see here. Go to the post on Patreon. 33 comments. Random number generator. How many did I say? 33. One min max 33. So you have a 1 in 33 chance. And there's like 50 something patrons. So there's some patrons who aren't paying attention. Better come get in on it. <laughs> generate. What's going to be the magic number? And I'm going to do it on the third generation. Generate. 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 Number six. Who is the sixth comment? Okay, first one. Sorry, Andy. Sorry, Jim. Sorry, Dimitri. Sorry, Rusty. Sorry, Chad. Derek! I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Derek, Sailor, congrats, Derek. You won the... The meal! Where's it at? <laughs> so I'm shipping Derek this meal. Sweet. Congratulations, Derek. Okay, that was awesome fun. We'll be playing again next month. Are you going to be in on it this time? <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Big announcement, 18.1 dates, subscriber trip, June 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, Mariana, Florida, down the Chipotle River. You guys saw how pretty that thing was when I was on it, doing the wet survival overnight scenario? Yeah, that's where it's going to be. Ten slots open. Uh, stay tuned for when the slots are going to be opened up and when you can uh, reserve your spot. It's going to open first to patrons. Five slots are going to open early for patrons, and then a few days after that, I'm going to open it up to the masses. Over 30,000 people will be vying for a spot. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but I do have 30,000 subscribers. Thank you all for that. But uh, I don't know. It's probably going to fill up pretty quick because it seems to fill up faster and faster every year. And now, instead of 15 people, I'm bringing 10 along. So, you better get ready to get out there. It's going to be a good time in June. All right? All right. Take care of yourselves, folks. God bless. And I'll see you all in the next adventure or informational video. There's going to be some adventures coming soon. Got one next month for sure. It's going to be super fun with some buddies from the fire department. It's going to be awesome. And I'm going to do a day venture here soon for you guys, too. Stay tuned. Go buy some shirts. Help me out. Empty my closet. You guys see how much stuff I got. I need to get rid of it. All right. Stay classy, folks. <laughs> Never said that before. Don't think I'll say it and won't say it again. I might. All right, gotta go run a few miles and do some workout. It's nice and sunny out. The cold's gone. I'm ready to get in the water, though. Aren't you guys? All right, do it soon. God bless. Take care. See you later. Adios, amigos.